uh, have now confirmed it to be an assassination attempt. They say it is still an active crime scene. Police officially still not identifying who the shooter is, though, although they say they are close. They say they are waiting until they are 100% confident. Some complications have slowed down a positive identification because there was no ID on the shooter, they say. So they're conducting DNA checks and they say there's no reason to believe that there is any other existing threat. So a lone wolf, a solo shooter. But aside from that, the New York Post is right now reporting the shooter to be 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks. They've got a photograph there that has been published again. This is the New York Post. It's an image of what appears to be that shooter on the roof with blood on his face and security standing over his body. That there, one of the images of the day, the 20-year-old shooter there on the roof, Thomas Matthew Crooks. Again, this is according to the New York Post, a little over 100 metres away from where Donald Trump was giving that campaign speech. So let's back things up and recap what's happened today. There has been an assassination attempt on the former US President Donald Trump as he was campaigning in Butler in Pennsylvania early today. Donald Trump was grazed by a bullet on his ear, his right ear, and he has been discharged from hospital. That's the good news. He had reportedly been taken to be treated in Pittsburgh in Pennsylvania after a shooting at that nearby campaign rally. He's now been discharged or has left the county where the shooting took place and is under the protection of US Secret Service as well as the state police. So this is what we know about the shooting so far. The former president and the current challenger had been holding a rally in Butler, Pennsylvania when audience members reported hearing multiple gunshots. It's not just audience members. That video that's beaming around the world now, we can all hear multiple gunshots. Trump then seen falling to the ground after clutching his ear, where he was quickly surrounded by his armed security staff, the Secret Service. He was then escorted away from the scene. The Secret Service says Trump is now safe and has launched protective measures. So backing things up again, this is the moment that the shooting took place. If you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh.